The full review of the RTX 5060 Ti and 5060 by Nvidia has been kind of underwhelming for two reasons. One, they are 60 tier cards, so they can't be that interesting. And two is the fact that, well, we kind of already knew everything about them because of leaks. But the full review has happened, so is there actually anything interesting or exciting about these cards? Well, on the surface, eh, maybe not, because the CUDA core and boost clock increases are pretty minimal. In fact, you can probably get the exact same clock speeds by just spending 5 seconds overclocking your last gen models, with pretty much the only thing of note here being a more acceptable CUDA core increase for the 5060 specifically. Though, of course, the biggest controversy so far has been with the fact that we are still getting 8 gigabyte cards, with the 5060 only being available in an 8 gig variant, while Intel Arc is somewhere there in a the corner laughing maniacally to itself, while the 5060 Ti will be available in both 16 and 8 gig variants, just to confuse those people who don't know any better and don't pay attention to what is written on the actual boxes. Though Nvidia have proven before that a good architecture and just good overall performance can compensate for a lot, even if you have less memory, and besides, there is also the fact that now we are using 28 gigabit per second GDDR7 rather than the GDDR6 that the last gen 60s used. So with all of those things combined, are we going to be seeing some kind of huge generational uplift in performance? Well, no, probably not, but that's not really the key selling point for these. One of the main things that Nvidia is pushing, especially for the 5060 Ti, is the price, given how both the 16 gig and 8 gig variants are going to be cheaper than the 4060 Ti's. The 5060 is going to be the exact same price as $300, though in this economy I'd say that's still a win, and you don't have to kind of worry about these things rising in price due to tariffs or anything, given how the Trump administration has stated that things like graphics cards will be exempt, at least unless the president just changes his mind before the release date, which yeah, I can see that happening. Speaking of, when is the release date? Well, the 5060 Ti is launched pretty soon, and by that I mean in a couple of hours time. While for the base 5060, you are going to have to wait a bit longer until May. And even though they're not the most interesting cards, you still know they're going to sell pretty well, given how the 60 SKUs are always the ones that dominate things like the Steam hardware survey. Though this generation is probably going to be a bit different, given the fierce competition from both Intel and also from the upcoming AMD 7060 and 60XT. And with the 50 series Blackwell product stack complete, it kind of makes me wonder what exactly Nvidia is going to be showing off at Computex next month. Are, are there even going to be any graphics cards at all, or is it just going to be AI and more robots dancing on stage? Well, you let me know your guesses down in the comments below, and maybe check out a Patreon as well, because even a single dollar month truly goes a long way in helping us actually go to Computex to cover it all. Plus, huge thanks to Gavin Burns, Justin Ray, Jill Avronik, Balaj Roker, Patrick Harrison, not a pseudonym, Max Sumner, and Shane Allcroft. But anyway, that's what it's. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye, everyone. Good. Bye.